Welcome to Music and Politics. I'm Douglas Caballero. On this show, music is the fifth estate, sometimes keeping society's other classes like the church, the rich, the common folk, and the press in check, providing a little sanity. Now, this song is no The Times, They Are a Changin', but Gangnam Style may become one of the world's most important songs for social change this year. Yes, I just said that. <laughs> Not only is it the most liked YouTube video of all time, with around 350 million views so far, but it has also become a rallying cry for political and social change in some unusual places. Iranian President Mahmoud Ahmadinejad always creates a circus during the UN General Assembly in New York, and this year was no exception. However, a group of protesters took to the streets to one-up him, performing a choreographed dance to Gangnam Style, led by a bobble-headed Ahmadinejad with backup dancers Syrian President Bashar al-Assad and what appears to be the late Ayatollah Khomeini. Okay, so do you remember those Filipino inmates who became famous for their choreographed rendition of Thriller? Well, it turns out they perform once a month for the public, partly so that they can receive rewards for this good behavior. Unfortunately, knowing the moves to Gangnam Style is not gonna get you a pardon. <laughs> Moving on, but staying in the Republic of the Philippines, citizens of the archipelago nation are up in arms over a new law they are calling cyber martial law. It's intended to bring their internet laws into the 21st century on things like pornography, hacking, and identity theft, but it also penalizes citizens for up to 12 years in prison and $24,000 for posting a libelous comment on Facebook, Twitter, etc. And also in a Big Brother move, the government, without a warrant, can now collect data from personal user accounts on social media and listen in on video apps like Skype. Protesters took to the streets with a now familiar rallying cry. <laughs> Looks like the Filipinos are getting some real mileage out of that song, but I think that K-pop star Psy has a long way to go before he is the next Bob Dylan. All right, so what is the strangest protest song that you know of? Send me links and let me know on Twitter and in the comments. I'm Douglas Caballero. Stay tuned for more music and politics on TYT.